Welcome to the Reading Brains Lab. You can have a seat on the couch and I'll just give you My name's Anna Roth. I'm a member of the class of 2013 and I've been working in Dr. Donna Koch's um, Reading Brains Lab investigating how children acquire reading through using ERP, event-related potential. ERP is a very temporally sensitive process, so in that sense it's better than MRI for looking at things that happen very fast. And we can really get a sense of you know, what happens when a person looks at a word they know, what happens when a person looks at symbols, and compare that. The age groups that we're looking at with this study are third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grade. And we're sort of investigating what's called the fourth grade shift, which is the shift from learning how to read to understanding what you're reading. So like we talked about earlier, we're just going to put on this cap. And In any we'll experiment that you run, you want to have a control group. And for us, our college students kind of show us what we should be looking for in students that have already developed reading skills. That teaches us how we, how the study runs, how subjects react to it, um, and kind of shows us what we should be looking for in a mature reader. Great, you're all ready, so you can just stand up slowly and I've got you. When someone who's learning how to read looks at a word, they have to look at each individual letter and kind of put that together into a word and then after you do that you kind of think about, well, what does that mean? What does that mean together in the sentence? Which is a very slow, very difficult process. And once you've acquired reading, you can just look at a sentence and kind of understand what it says. So basically we're looking at the shift, which is thought to happen in fourth so grade. on the screen, a bunch of words are going to pop up, and some of them... Right now we're pulling in um, 24 third graders, fourth graders, and fifth graders. 24 is, it's not a magic number, but in ERP that's kind of what you need to average to get a good grand average when you put together all the ERP for each person. And then you kind of see in this group, in third graders, what, what is happening when third graders in general look at this. And you average together each person's average, and then you get a grand average of the group. And we can look at the differences between those, and we can say when shifts in processing happened by looking at specific processing components, and we can compare this is how a third grader reads, this is how a fourth grader reads, and this is how a fifth grader reads. This shift is just assumed to happen in fourth grade. That's when the curriculum switches from teaching kids how to read to assuming that kids are getting comprehension from what they're reading. So this has really important implications for educational policy because if we find that this isn't happening, then fourth graders should still be learning how to read. 